Create is the greatest mod ever made, so naturally Bedrock players wanted to know if they could play it, and I've always said no, but it turns out I'm wrong. Kind of. They're outdated, but there's actually three Create mod add-ons for Bedrock, so I downgraded my Bedrock edition and got to testing whether or not any of them were good enough to actually be considered a true port of the Create mod. So from mechanical presses that use the force to wind turbines and even slip and slides, let's dive into the weird world of Create mod on the Bedrock edition. So here we are over in Bedrock taking a look at the first add-on, the outside add-on. Not the crate, it's called the outside add-on, but it's the create add-on, trust me. One of the first things you'll notice is it changes the crosshair into this cog, which which is pretty cute. It's also a good way for me to know that it was actually working. Uh, and if we scroll down to the bottom of the creative menu, you'll see it adds some weird looking stuff. Yeah, this is gonna be true for all of these Bedrock add-ons. The items look strange. And the strangest thing is that I can't place any of these blocks down. Nope, can't place them, but I can place this motor, this creative motor. And this is kind of the first thing that outside adds is this weird stress unit system. See, in normal create, you have stress units, which is the amount of energy that a machine produces. But over here in bedrock, that doesn't exist. And I don't think the functionality can. Wow, my eyes were just closed for so long. Anyways, their workaround was pretty interesting. Uh, it's that this motor, it's called Motor 4, right? Because it can power four machines, right? So four presses, four drills, four millstones, whatever you name it. But in order to implement this, they had to do something really annoying. You have to turn on the motor with a lever, and you still can't place anything attached to it until you place a shaft. Okay, you can only place a shaft attached to a motor, right? And then from the shaft, we could place a cog, or we could place a gearbox, or we could place a machine, but that's it, right? It, there's very specific placement rules. So if you wanted to actually move your power around, you'd have to place a gearbox. But then, look at this blue-green. This is the only active side of the gearbox. I can't place a shaft here. I can't place a shaft here. You can see it places there. So we have to use this weird little wrench to rotate the gearbox in order to even get power in another direction and then the worst part is it doesn't work anymore you can only rotate it like 180 degrees so these are all the places of power that we could actually use this gearbox is now worthless here right and now we could place down you know we could place down a machine here and we could place down a machine here and if you want to see what i'm talking about with power you can hold these weird engineer goggles that put a smiley face in the upper right and if you right click on a block it'll say four blocks left we could go down the line, right? So this gives us three blocks left because it's consuming one block of power. And this gives us zero blocks left because the power system doesn't actually work. Yeah, the power system is actually broken. You see, it's powered right now because it's connected. You'll see the, the drill works by instantly destroying any block. But if I were to just break the shaft, the drill doesn't become unpowered. It's sort of like a hack, this SU system, and it kind of ruins the whole add-on because it's really annoying, these placement rules. They're, they're super finicky, very difficult to work with. And of course, nothing at all is animated, so, you know, it's kind of hard to tell what's happening. That being said, the three machines it does add do things, which is pretty cool. If you throw iron underneath of the press, you do get iron sheets. And even if there's sugar canes, you actually get paper, which is kind of interesting. So there's a little processing there. As I showed earlier, the drill does work by instantly breaking blocks in front of it. The problem, though, is that it throws those items kind of everywhere which ruins the ability to make a gravel farm because the way the millstone works is you throw cobble on top of it and it turns into gravel out the bottom. But because it's not very consistent, you know, if you threw cobble over here, it wouldn't work. If you threw cobble over here, it wouldn't work. You have to really get it precisely on top of this thing. But still, I mean, there is some interesting processing that you could do. However, the only motor that's added is the creative one. So, you can't play this one in survival. Outside definitely had some interesting ideas, even attempting to implement stress units, but I think it was just kind of ruined by the Bedrock Edition engine. Now, add-on number two feels the most complete to me, though it's probably the weirdest. Create by Vatanage adds a lot of different blocks, a lot of different machines, and even has single-player survival processing. It's just that the blocks look weird, and they add a lot of strange stuff. 
Like, you can't tell me that this looks more like a fan project and it really does a port of Create. It's weird, it's strange, but I don't know, it's kind of cool. For starters, it has an actual RPM system, like literally rotations per minute, where this will rotate a certain number of times per minute. And the more machines you add chain together with cogs, the more rotations, of course, you'll get at a single time, as you can see. It's kind of interesting. Um, also, cogs are the only way to transfer power, so you just kind of have to, like, chain cogs together. You can see that rotation happens, like, in a line, almost like a snake. And because of that, they added these cool, like, cog lamps, which will light up when they're spun, which creates this, like, really cool little light show every time. This is actually a really cool idea. I think Create should add an RPM lamp, because this is actually really neat. It even has four generators, including a mechanical crank, which is actually really fast, but of course it's manual. There is the water wheel, which requires flowing water to be on top of it, and you can see it's pretty slow. Like, the, there we go, that takes a while, and you need to have wa flowing water on top of it. There is, of course, the aforementioned wind turbine, which I think is pretty fast. And then there's even a creative motor, which runs, like, super duper fast. There's also a lot of really weird, cool things you can do with this rotation. Like, this is the cobblestone placer, right? It's this weird little block that just places down cobblestone. That's what it does. You rotate it, it places cobblestone. The drill is back, but it only works vertically. Uh, but it does break items pretty quickly, pretty instantly. You can see there's, like, some problems with placing blocks down. Um, so yeah, every time this receives rotation, it just breaks the block. And, uh, it even works on bedrock. It doesn't drop the bedrock block, but yeah, if you ever want to break bedrock, this is the one. They do have a mechanical saw, but, uh, I've got absolutely no idea what it does. I have absolutely zero idea what the mechanical saw does. I can't figure it out, so... It's cool. It's a cool little saw. They even added crushing wheels. Crush- come on. There we go. Crushing wheels. Uh, you only need one of them, and they work by you place cobblestone on top of them, and then it places gravel on the bottom. They're very strange, but in combination with the mechanical sieve, which this adds, you can actually make a processing line. So the way this machine works is you power the cobble placer to place cobblestone on top of a crushing wheel. That'll place gravel on top of a crushing wheel. That'll place sand on top of this mechanical sieve, and then I have a hopper underneath of it, and this should actually result in a pretty cool- come on- pretty cool little farm, right? And there you go, you see this processing line, the blocks start flashing in, and in here, uh, well, they're off- okay, it's all falling underneath of the hopper, weirdly enough, but yeah, you can see we're getting all these different resources, coal, lapis, gold, gunpowder, iron, redstone, so this is actually a cool little farm, and, uh, all of this is playable in survival. You can see pretty much everything in the pack has a survival-facing recipe, even the, uh, creative motor if you have some way to get bedrock. And interestingly, there's also this power converter. If you're playing with mods that have FE, this has an integration for that, so that's really cool. It's a nice little forward thinking. But that is all there is to say about this particular add-on. I like that it has, like, actual processing. Ooh, you can get amethyst from this, that's cool. But yeah, no, this is pretty cool. You could play it in survival, could probably have a little bit of fun with it, and set up just a just a bunch of these in your worlds for infinite farms add-on number three create by ramcore 14 is definitely the most create mod out of everything i mean if we look at stuff in the creative menu whoa that was laggy okay you can see there's like actual create stuff in here flywheels gear shifts there's belts there's drills cogs i know the item icons look a little weird but they even like rip stuff right off of the create mod to make it look proper and and it spins it spins weird. There's actual animations in this one, which is super cool. It's still scuffed. Like, every time you put down a shaft, you can see it kind of, like, zips over, and you can only place shafts down vertically for some reason. Well, except for that one. But yeah, a lot of the stuff in this one is really scuffed. Like, how water wheels place like that. They place, like, with the teeth in the direction that you're facing. Uh, and they don't actually require flowing water. They just need water to be on them, and they just they just start rocketing, man. They just start moving. But as you can see, there's actually a lot to cover here, so I'm gonna go over the stuff that makes this one the most unique. And by far, it's the fact that the mechanical mixer and the mechanical press actually function in a sort of way. Now, there's still a lot of jank. There's still so much jank. Like how belts are placed like individual blocks and they kind of only work to the side there doesn't actually seem like there's a way to get power to move vertically because they have gearboxes but there's no like vertical gearboxes and of the two wrenches the property wrench and the time wrench whatever those mean uh, i don't think either of them will rotate a gearbox to make it move upwards so 
Uh, we'll just use a sky water wheel to show this one off. Now, the Deepa doesn't work like normal, right? You can't throw blocks on top of it, nor can you right-click any block onto it. Basically, think of this as an advanced crafting table. You have to use items that the press can, like, press. So, for instance, I can throw an iron ingot on there. It takes three presses, but it will pop off an iron sheet. Uh, there's no way to speed this up, as every generator spins the exact same speed the exact same direction. There's no stress units either. It actually produces with animations, which I think is super cool. You can see they've added pretty much every sheet in the crate mod too, which I think is awesome. For this guy, we're gonna have to use a cog and a hand crank just because, but you can also see this is also animated. It's a little strangely animated, but it's pretty cool. And it works in the same way, right? You can right click the basin with the different items and they'll actually go into the basin. And if you mix them up for a long time, they'll turn into something. So this obviously is the recipe for cheaper and a site alloy, which I think is really cool they added. I, this is super sweet. I'm sure you could automate it if you could figure out how to get vertical power. I'm, I'm sure there's a way, but I, I don't know it. They even properly added zinc and zinc ore, which you can use to make brass in this game. There's no blaze burners, so you could just mix brass normally, but still super awesome. Then you can go and, you know, turn that into sheets. You can actually turn that brass into a proper furnace engine. They actually added it. Yes, they have a furnace engine in the game. It's a little janky how you put it together, and you can only access it through the top, and it only works with coal, and it looks like it's always burning, but you can actually make a furnace engine, which I think is so cool. It actually isn't better than a water wheel. They're, they're both the exact same, but look at it. It's all animated and stuff. This is sick. And since it's got all survival recipes and stuff, this is totally possible to do in survival. So uh, leave a comment if you want me to do a survival playthrough of this weird version of Create. That being said, this is only like half of what it adds. For instance, it actually has redstone components. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it has the redstone links and they work. If you dye both of these brown, so this being the receiver, this being the sender, and you power the sender, uh, and, uh, hold on, these are really janky, uh, wait. Nope. How do I power you? They're very specific. You get, you gotta, they're, they're kind of, they're kind of specific. I, uh, I can't get these to work. They do work. They're just, they're just very finicky. Okay. All right. So we'll, we'll, we'll just pretend like it works. I think this one, the little, the little repeater thing, right? You could, whoops. You can right click it to extend the second duration. I believe it takes in from redstone dust and will spit out to a repeater. No, it doesn't. It did take in from- hold on. I swear, I tested all of these. I genuinely tested all of these. Oh, whoa! Oh! The redstone- got it. Okay, cool. So that's how this one works. It's redstone dust into a repeater, and you can see it'll extend a pulse. Apparently, if you just feed it a constant signal, it doesn't work, so the signal has to go away. But you, yeah, you could, you could right-click this up. Uh, you could increase the uh, amount of delay, right? How long it'll hold the signal, which is really cool. You could use this for little clocks and stuff. And I have genuinely no idea how this one works anymore. I had it working before. I tested it before. It was super cool. But it is just not receiving a redstone signal from any side anymore. So, yeah. That's unfortunate. Look, I didn't say it would all work, okay? But it is here. It even has seats that you, like, walk over. Uh, the, here, I'll show you kind of- it's kind of weird. You, like, walk on top of it, and then you sit- You can also, like, right-click on it, but then you're also just able to, like, slide your butt around it. So, if you want to have, like, a- like, a- you can make a floor of these. <laughs> hold on, hold on. There we go. So, if you have, like, an itchy butt, you can make a floor of these and just- <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on. This is the best part of the add-on. Yeah, there we go. That's that's all there is to say. That's all there is to say about this add-on. Not really, though. There, there's a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of stuff. There's a ton. I didn't go ev over everything, but, like, most of it is just a janky, half-functioning version of Create. But it's definitely the most Create-like, and it's, it's super impressive. So, is Create on Bedrock? No, not really. I mean, all of this stuff is very janky. Uh... Yeah, like, I just really- oh, boy. Yeah, most of them are buggy, janky, or just not even really the Create mod. And I think it just boils down to Bedrock not being powerful enough to support them. But if you do want to check these out, I don't recommend it. I've linked the mods 
in the description to properly credit the developers. However, the sites you download them from are extremely janky. These mods are extremely janky and you have to download your bedrock. So I don't recommend it, but I appreciate you watching. And uh, yeah, credit roll.